you will be able to change direct space into indirect space. You will also feel confident to answer the question in the exam. But there is a precondition of learning narration. This tense. Okay. Change in tenses. It's a precondition. You have to know tense well. I believe that you know it because you are the students of class 9 and 10. You have to have the capacity to change tenses from one to another. I think you know it. Another big condition of learning generation is knowing persons well. Not only the persons, but also the forms of persons. Subjective, objective, and possessive. These three forms we have to master. Now let's discuss narration. Narration, which another name is space. There are two types of narration for space. Number one, direct space. Number two, indirect space or reported space. Okay, you will bear in your mind the spreads. What is the other name of indirect space? Reported space. Now, look at the example of direct space. He says, I am a student. This part is called direct space. It is kept in the inverted commas. And this is the speaker. It is the reporting part. If you change it into direct space, we will find he says that he is a student. Here, the students. Look at the difference between this. Two sentences. Here there is comma, but there is no comma. Here we have used a linker. That is the linker, and no inverted comma is here. And I has been changed into he because a speaker always expresses himself as I in the first person. So when we will change it into indirect space, it will be he. As the subject is he. First person will follow the speaker. And after he, he is used and isolated. So, in direct speech, he says that he is isolated. Now, a special discussion. Reported speech. Dear students, look at the slide very attentively. Okay, dear students, I think you have already understood what I am going to explain. Here, the part kept in the inverted commas is indicated as reported space in many books in our country, but it's totally wrong. So I have put a cross sign. Its name is direct space. Look at the meaning. And when we will change this into indirect space, its name will be indirect or reported. Okay? Indirect and reported. The meanings of both words are same. It's my writing about reported space. It was published in 2007 in this famous daily, the daily paper. I drew the attention of the proper authorities about this. I will show you some 
other documents. Here, Oxford Advanced Learners Edition Day, Cambridge International Edition Day of English, Long and Edition Day of Contemporary English, Practical English Uses, written by a very famous grammarian, Michael Swan. It's the grammar book. It's a general dictionary published by Bangla Academy, English to Bangla Dictionary. It's another very popular dictionary. My students, very, very dictionary by Eddie Optical students, uh, if you look up the word reporting and encourage in these documents, you will be confirmed about the meaning and the use. Okay, thank you very much. More discussion, I will discuss some other examples. Uh, here it is this and here it is this. Here it is this. Here it is this. He says to me, I am your student. If we change it in direct space, it will be, he says to me that he is my student. Do you understand the difference? Here, the person and verb. Okay, these two things are changed. The reporting verb is in present tense. So, only the verb is changed for this new subject P, but we did not change the tense. Another example, okay, uh, it's the alternative answer to this. We can use tense instead of says to here. It's another example, Nabil has said to his mother, I love you. This is direct space. In direct space, Nabil has told his mother that he loves her. Here, I should be changed according to speaker here, yeah? Nabil. And the uh, pronoun will be used for this noun. So he is used after he Yes, form of the verb, love is used, and this is second person, the listener. It will be changed according to this. It is a noun phrase. The pronoun of this is she, but she is subjective form, where you is objective form. So, her will be used as her is the objective form of his mother. So, there is no general restroom how to change the, the persons and according to the subject, verb is changed. I think you have understood. Now, some more examples I will discuss. Here, you he said, I am well. Say is the reporting part. He is in past tense. If we get the reporting verb in past tense, the tense will be changed. Okay? Here it is present indefinite tense, it will be past indefinite tense. It is the rule changing direction. And person is changed as usual. And here, direct this case, she is saying to me, I wanted to meet you yesterday. Look, here the reporting verb is also in the past tense. So we will also change here the tense. Here I want it. It is past indefinite, it will be changed into past perfect. So after subject, auxiliary verb had and the past participle of main verb. Okay. And another thing will be changed here. Yesterday, 
in periphery part is in first class yesterday we will change into the previous day we can also write it this way using tool if we use tool we will not use two and all the other words the same so my dear students have you understood these examples okay now look at the table if the reporting verb is in past tense in direct space these words if we get we will change these words in this way in case of direct space now then try that way in this way you will get it in your book you will memorize it now changing tenses i mentioned it before now how to change tense is clear here if the reporting verb is in past tense tenses will be changed in this way in direct space if we get present indefinite tense in indirect space it will be past indefinite in this way you will change next there is friends yes another slide i will give you some homework okay so you write down the homework or your research books and you will try to change the species from direct to indirect there is friends I request you to complete this homework. Thank you. Goodbye. Dear students, our formal discussion is over. Now I advise you to maintain hygiene and to pray to Allah for our safety. And at last, I request you to. You must mask always. When you will go outside, without mask, you will not go outside. Okay, dear friends, this is my mask. Now I will leave the classroom. Thank you very much. I request you to pray for my safety and soundness. Allah bless.